Histotripsy effectively is using ultrasound waves at very high frequencies to target and create a immediate destruction of a small area of tissue. And we can calculate exactly what amount of ultrasound waves we need to use and to get a specific location as far as how deep. Uh, and then we can use that to treat larger areas by adding up that over a, a specific region. And using those calculations, we um, use ultrasound frequencies to destroy the lesion. Uh, in simple ways, this is basically ultrasound technology, just like m right now microwave is used for killing liver tumors. Ultrasound sound waves are used to killing uh, lesion cells. The benefits of his trips really come down to our ability to target a tumor within the liver very carefully without damaging any nearby structures. And that benefit is huge when we're talking about bile ducts or other blood vessels that need to be preserved inside the liver that an ablation may damage, normal radiation may damage, radiation beads may damage, or surgery may have to cut out and reconstruct. And so being able to preserve those normal structures while treating the cancer is just an incredible benefit towards histotripsy. Histotripsy is an outpatient procedure, so patients will come in in the morning, have their procedure under general anesthesia, so they'll be completely asleep, and when they wake up, they'll uh, recover from general anesthesia, which typically is monitoring for about 30 to 60 minutes, and as long as they're doing all right, then they get to go home and recover the rest of the way. Uh, we have a great team here. I think ultimately, in order to treat cancer, it doesn't just take a surgeon, does not just take uh, a great uh, medical oncologist, it takes an entire team. Uh, we have a very wonderful team here, a dedicated, very um, a close-knit team. Being a community hospital gives us the advantage of knowing everyone in the area. You know, patients get to know everyone as well. So when patients come to us, they can be assured that we provide them the best standard of care that is available in the country. And I think that's why this is a very, very safe place for them to go to.